What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and today we're here with the vibe music with a Castlevania inspired song, but it's an Alucard song, Worlds Collide. Now, last time he released it, the uh, sorry, Castle like a Castlevania type song and such, Castlevania theme song was when he did the Trevor Belmont and such and if you haven't go check out my reaction and shit that was like back in May of this year so literally what six months later and such he releases a new one and plus with the new series from Netflix and such look I gotta really stay connected to I guess it is most of the times where you have to watch a lot of animes to make sure you get excited and such so maybe it's on my end and such that's why most of the times the certain animes i may not get doesn't connect with me but i'll work on that but regardless the last time we like i said the last time we he dropped a castlevania song was back in may so hey even though it was a long ass wait it's worth it but either way we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe Follow me on my socials up there, and without further ado, let's get in the video. <clears throat> let's see how he does it. Apparently, this is the son of Dracula. Drifts to sleep, glimmers from the torchlight trees, patterns short and tall, echoes of you know what divide would be not only good for soundtracks and such for song for like either anime openings or whatever, but with his type of voice, he would be a great narrator. I guarantee you, because with the likes of Morgan Freeman and such. That be good narrative voices and such. I wouldn't mind hearing Divide do some narration. I don't know. It would sound sound special. From the torchlight trees, patterns short and tall. Echoes of sound different, that's for sure. Those high notes. I like the little. It's basically like this when it comes down to it him and fable are like the only two type of rappers or artists that i know that can like lit because let's face it i've said it before multiple times where in nowadays type of songs and such let's face it attention spans for certain songs be so like quick especially when you're trying to make a song because most songs today be like under three minutes or so but 
really want to make it go up three minutes and such, you got to really put your effort into it. Because let's be honest, some of the most favorite songs people like today and such be under three minutes. And it be top charts and all, but most of the times, and then look, this is my take. It be trash. Not saying all of them, but majority of them be trash. And they'd be number one for some reason, just because how little effort is going into it. And it mostly be the beats. But what I've learned with the Nerdcore songs and such, and let me just say this, it's not all mainstream songs, it's just ones that... Ones that particularly always pop up every single time. The ones who you always know pop up every single time. It just depends on what they drop. But regardless of that, with the Nerdcore community, it don't matter if a song is 4 minutes or 5 minutes. You're going to be entertained one way or another. They'll give you the 2 minute, under 3 minutes ones or so. But they be definitely having bars. So trust me, when I tell you that with the Nerdcore community... They really put they all into a song. They don't try to make sure it don't feel like it's getting tired or so. They're going to make sure you feel some energy or something in there. <laughs> Flipped you off. Nah, run that high note again. What? Run that high note again. Not, not a rap, not a lot of artists you know can hit a high note like that. Like, listen to that. Listen to that high note. Wait for it. I can't even hit that now. Nah. I can't even hit that high note. Oh my god. One more time. I can't even hit that car. I'm talking like I'm an artist or so. But even if I was an artist, I couldn't even hit a high note like that. And majority of the times, most artists can't. So, hey, one more time and we gonna keep it going. Ooh, that get and hold up, I saw in the description where it was who see I don't give you the critics. Basically, song written, production, and mix by Divide, but also mastered by Fable. Yeah, I always tell you when them two, cause y'all gotta, cause remember them two are like this and such when it comes to music, cause they've been in rock bands, they've been in all sorts of music bands, right? So trust me, those two are always gonna get the first listen to each other's new songs every single time, and. Even though they're a little bit biased, we ain't gonna lie. Because let's face it, if you're an artist and you're friends with another artist, and when I mean friends, I don't mean like just through, through like X amount of music and such. No, I mean like before we even came up and such, before we even at the level where we at now, 
yeah you can you definitely gonna know a connection when it comes to two people and such especially if they're love for music yeah you're gonna tell that each one of them are gonna love each other's music so nine times out of ten that's why you need reactors like me like game boy jones schwabity and much more and darnell bradley professor curl all the ner the reactors and such you can say i would say nerdcore reactor but could i consider myself a nerdcore reactor i could can i fuck it i am one <laughs> might as well become one might as well say i'm one but yeah that times out of 10 you need reactors like me and the others and such to really see if we would like it and such so yeah and i like the like echo effect Like that little guitar at the end, I ain't gonna lie. That guitar at the end was fire. Wait, one more time, we gotta hear it again. One more time and then we go. And I like the chanting in the backgrounds. That get is always those mean little guitar licks that always catches me in the end where they really make they go crazy at the end i always like that in rock music where it's always that guitar that goes crazy at the end of the song or during the song but yeah that was divide music worlds worlds collide and such and hold on let me see some but yeah is so yeah after six months of not dropping one gotta say fire that he came back to it and such hold on let me see something from okay we good i was just checking y'all don't get me wrong i was just checking <laughs> yes i check at the end almost at the end of my reaction crazy but look that's how i am i literally show y'all everything that you see here that i do is all in one take unless i'm pause at unless i pause at a certain end yeah but either way shout out to divine man because like i said is is divide and fables type of rock music that makes me like really like want to listen to more rock music because i ain't gonna lie to you don't get me wrong i like my hip-hop i like my caribbean because i'm jamaican at the end of the day don't get it twisted but i always just i've always said this no matter what like style of music it is if it's fire to me i like it and especially when it's rock music hey you will see me banging my head most of the times to certain rock music but either way y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below shout out to the vibe again the original link to this will be in the description so make sure you go check it out at the end of this reaction but either way been your boy homo ziggy signing out better end this before my camcorder die real quick Stay positive and keep the vibes up and hit that subscribe button because we on the road to 2k so you better hit it or else I'm gonna effing come for you. No, I'm kidding. And if you made it to the end, comment down below. High notes. I know I probably said it before but I don't think so. But either way, comment down below high notes if you made it to the end. But like I said, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. There you go.